you said. That rush thing you said. You must think I'm some idiot. Of course not. But you two planned this together, did you? No, I had nothing to do with it. I trusted you. Oh, yeah. to my taste. But it'll do. Now, for the official opening. Oh. You ain't gonna get away with this, Janine. And what are you gonna do about that? Janine! Just a quick one, won't it? I just want to go home. And what are you going to be doing at home? Let's go now. Why are you being such a killjoy? Don't start, Darren. No, come on, you've only said two words to me all day. Yeah, that's because if I talk to you, I might actually have to oh, look at you. Maybe just calm down. But I've been trying to be calm. Oh, stop being stupid. I'm going to the club. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe you'll meet somebody and get them pregnant too. Just like you did with Heather. I know, Darren. I know you're George's father. Are you listening? Yeah. Take your rubbish, get in your car and go! You're overreacting. I'm overreacting? You know what you are, Adam? You are a seedy, self-serving little pervert. Oh, beat my boyfriend. He hits on schoolgirls and he doesn't even use child lines. No, he blackmails them for sex. I suppose it's the only way you can get it. You didn't seem to mind. What was it that did it for you, Lib? This? I suppose they earn you some liberal brownie points. Exactly how many do you get for dating a guy in a wheelchair anyway? I'm guessing more than somebody with a terminal illness, less than, say, a landmine victim. You are sick! Me? I'm the one that's been used, exploited. And then what can I expect from somebody from your background? Next, you'll be trying to kill me. Even Denise wouldn't hit a poor defenceless cripple. Oh. <laughs> 